on today's how to do series on id med health i'll be showing you simple way you can collect dna sample for paternity test from the comfort of your home using cheek swap there are two ways you can collect dna sample for paternity test one is through blood sample okay and the second one is through cheek swap and that is what we'll be focusing on on today's head talk for blood sample collection the samples of the alleged father and the child are collected using a vacutena tube that contains edta which prevents the blood from clotting okay and these samples are sent to the laboratory for analysis although it's important you understand that the red blood cell matured one does not contain a nucleus which means there is no dna content in a red blood cell that is why if you must check for paternity test using blood you must use a whole blood a blood that contains both white blood cell and the blood plasma because those are the ones that you know have or contain dna for the second one which is the cheek swab all right i'll be showing you simple steps you can collect dna sample for paternity test from the comfort of your home but before then kindly subscribe to our youtube channel and if you are not following us on our social media platforms like our facebook and tiktok please do so so back to business here are the steps involved in collecting dna sample for paternity test from the comfort of your home using cheek swab firstly make sure you wash your hands properly or you sterilize your hands okay then the person you are collecting the samples from must not eat for like 30 to one hour this is to prevent uh, you collecting food particles instead of uh, the dna materials okay so make sure you do this if you are you know collecting for yourself make sure you don't eat for 30 to one hour all right and also if you've eaten do it to rinse your mouth properly using water okay and still wait for like 30 minutes or thereabouts all right also you are expected to feed the necessary documents that contains your name your date of birth your means of identification and that of the child you intend to you know match the dna with okay and another important thing you must not fail to do is to provide uh, two passport photographs for you and the child okay but everything is dependent on the laboratory and the need for the paternity test okay in most cases a consent form all right will be filled so there are many things to consider here and the considerations are based on individual needs all right so once these are done the next step the okay the dna kit collection collection kit will be sent to you 
by the lab okay so and it will contain all these forms that you are you ought to fill and then it will contain four swab sticks okay two for the child and two for the alleged father all right and two will be used this way first you open the uh swab stick that is sent to you all right then you use it here put it in your mouth rub it against your cheek rub it against your cheek and your gum for about you do this for about 30 seconds all right then you air dry for like a minute just drop it on a plain surface for air to touch it okay then you equally do with the other uh swab stick all right on the other cheek all right you rub it against your cheek and your gum for about 30 seconds too all right and you uh, dry okay so this same process you do it for the child okay so after a drying for like a minute or two you then put these uh swap sticks the ones for the father or the alleged father okay you put it in the designated envelope that is marked or that is that has the details of the father all right the one for the child you do the same and you know put the swap sticks there all right with the names written properly okay so after this is being done you can then send this uh envelope in another bigger envelope that will be sent to you okay to the lab for analysis the process is very very easy okay that anyone can do it kindly know that these swap sticks are not the ones that will be sent to you by the lab that will be conducting the paternity test okay the standard ones are usually in pairs okay so one for the father and one for the child were packaged all right and everything the instructions are usually given all right so but well, if you intend to you know get this dna paternity test done do it to send us a dm and most importantly thanks for staying to this end and as usual see you in the next one